Welcome to Unspoken. We have entered a brand new year, new year. This is 2021, and I didn't even believe I'd ever see that. Uh, 2021. And so I know every, some people are just glad that 2020 is over, and so am I. It was so filled with uncertainty, and it was filled with a lot of um, uh, disasters and a lot of political stuff and a lot, uh, just a lot of things was just packed into that year. But this is 2021. And so I want to talk today about moving forward. Oh, Jesus. Moving forward. You know, a lot of people make, I don't, at least they used to, make New Year's resolutions and they're going to do that. But by the end of the year, they've forgotten all about it. In fact, maybe in six months, they've forgotten all about it. But I really want to talk about how do we move forward in, in 2021. And so let's go to the scripture this morning. And we're going to look at a familiar passage of scripture. And it is in Exodus chapter 2, verse 23. And the word of the Lord says this. Now it happened in the process of time that the king of Egypt died. Then the children of Israel groaned because of the bondage. And they cried out and their cry came up to God because of their bondage. Look, listen. They cried out. They cried out. And and in, in ancient Near East East culture, when you cry out, when you when you cry out to the Lord, it, when you cry out to anybody in general, it means that the oh Jesus, it means that the person that hears your cry has to do something about it. In other words, they cannot they cannot just leave you, hallelujah, um, uh, alone. They, they must do something about it. And this is a phrase that is often used in the Psalms. And so Israel, the children of Israel, were warned by God. They were told by God not to get themselves involved in this polytheistic culture that was all around them. And they were to serve one God. And when you see Y-H-V-H in Scripture, it means yud Hey vav Hey. So they were only to serve the living God and, and not these Baals and not these false gods and and so and so that so that they cried out to the lord they and he responded listen to this um bear with me this morning um Listen to verse verse 23. God heard their groanings and God remembered. He remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. And God looked upon the children of Israel and acknowledged them. Oh, my. So he heard. Now he, not only did he hear their cry, he acknowledged that he heard their cry. Why? Because he is God. That is the culture that he heard it. So now he has to do something about it. Lord Jesus, listen. Exodus chapter 3, verse 7. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the oppression of my people and are, that are in Egypt and have heard their cry because of their taskmasters. For I know, listen, for I know their sorrow. Hebraically, the word no means that he, that he experienced, he, oh Jesus, he is experiencing the suffering of his people. So now we have two things. We, we know that God hears our prayer when we cry out to him. And we know, now we know that we're no, sometimes it means in, to know someone intimately. But in this case, it means that he has experienced, that he's experiencing the suffering of his people. So that means now he's going to do something about it. Hallelujah. So listen, 1 John 5, listen to what the word says. Verses 14 and 15. And this is, oh Jesus, the confidence, the assurance, the privilege of boldness, which we have in him. We are sure that if we ask anything, make any request according to his will, in agreement with his own plan, he listens to us and hears us. 
And since we positively know, this is the Amplified, and since we positively know that he listens to us in whatever we ask, we also know with settled and absolute knowledge that we have granted to us as our present possession the request made of him. Now listen, that should have made that that should make you want to pray. Because what that's saying is, he, he knows, he hears your cry. My God. And then he's going to do something about it. Not only does he hear it, but he's going to he's gonna create a orabakashaya. Uh, uh, Bishop Noel Jones says this. He creates a situation for revelation. So he's, the situation has been created. Now he's going to reveal to you who he is. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. So listen, they're, they're getting ready to cross over. Listen. So uh, uh, Exodus chapter 3 verse 10 says, Come now therefore and I will send you to Pharaoh that you may bring my people, the children of Israel, out. So we see that God is responding to the cry of the people. And what is that? What is that response? That response is an act of grace. When he responds to us in prayer, when he hears us, it's an act of grace. It's an act of mercy. That the God that we serve loves us enough ah, to hear, to, to respond to our prayer. Hallelujah. And if you if you don't have success in your prayer life, ask the Lord to show you these areas that's blocking your prayer, that's blocking the, your answered prayer, that's blocking the victory that you should be having in prayer. Hallelujah. Listen. Uh, in, in, in the scripture, let's let's go back. So 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 uh, Exodus chapter nine verse thirteen. Thus says the Lord God of the Hebrews: Let my people go that they may serve me. For at this time I will send all my plagues to your very heart and on your servants and on your people that you may know that there is none like me in all the earth. Listen, we are we are experiencing a plague. COVID-19 is a plague, right? But because why? Because we're getting ready to cross over to the other side. This is 2021. It's time to cross over. It's time to do something different. It's time to take God seriously to take him at his word and put his word out there so that he can perform the miracle and that we all need we all need a miracle hallelujah so so god is saying look let my people go and so by asking Pharaoh, it was God's plan to shame him. So at him in the nation. So listen, God is saying every nation is shut down. Everybody is shutting down from, from COVID. God is saying, I am God. Oh, hallelujah. You better hear. You got you to gotta hear in the spirit what's going on. He's saying, I am God. And that same God, Rebbe Koshaya, is saying to us in 2021, let's, let's cross over. Let's cross over into blessing. Let's cross cross over into fruitfulness. Let's cross over into the glory that I have promised you. Let's cross over into the miracles that I can do through you. I just need a willing vessel. Hallelujah. That's so that we can cross over and show the world that we serve a risen Savior. Hallelujah. So listen, the plagues in Egypt were three. They came in threes. And so it was, to <coughs> excuse me, it was a total of nine. And so what's happening is, is God is exacting vengeance on all of the gods of Egypt. And so the last God of Egypt that, was, that he exacted vengeance on was the God at the Red Sea because God Pharaoh had a God at the Red Sea. And so <clears throat> it was a statue there. Excuse me. He had, it was a statue there. And so he had a God there. And at Redio Shaya. And the children of Israel were afraid uh, of that God because uh, uh, Pharaoh had convinced them, uh, to, had, had did mind control on them, and convinced them that that God had power. But when God and Moses and the children of Israel get to the Red Sea, we find out who has the power because they cross over. So it's time now, people of God, to cross over into your destiny. Your destiny, your destiny has waited long enough for you. It's time for you to cross over to do what God has called you to do. Hallelujah. Listen. Oh, God, this is the last thing. In ancient Near East culture, 
the sea uh, was 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 important because the sea was like um, um, was like a god in in, in in a sense of them and everybody who who came up out of the sea they respected they they thought that and let's let's look at Jonah remember Jonah was in the whale and uh, he was lost in the sea and but when he came up the people respected him because he had orikashaya. He had overcome the 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 sea and he had overcome the judgment, right? So when Eridiosha. So when the children of Israel crossed over, over into the, the promised land, when they crossed over, when they crossed over the Red Sea, when they came right down through the middle of the Red Sea, listen, they were saying that this is the God. Ah, this is the God I serve, the God that can do miracles, the God that can make something out of nothing, and they were able to serve them, him, because they crossed over. And what happens when they cross over? When they cross over, and I've said this before, when they crossed over, all the gold, all the, the jewelry, everything that, that Pharaoh had just washed up on the shore. Baby, when you serve God, you don't really have to go through nothing hard. He'll make it easy for you. They, it washed up on the shore. And Moses' sister, Miriam, picks up Andiosha, picks up a tambourine and begins to prophesy. And they begin to dance. Because why? They had crossed over. Listen, it's time to cross over on the other side so that we can get what God has for us and we can begin to dance and praise God for what he's doing. It's crossing over time, people of God. Listen, cross over into your destiny. Don't be denied in 2021. Ask God, what is holding me back? I want to walk in what you have called me to walk in, in this year. If you don't do it now, you never will do it. Listen, I bless you. I love you. Cross over. Listen, cross over in to your destiny. Subscribe to us. Like us. Shalom. Shalom.